Hello and welcome to this week's Monday Mail and Magazines. We got a touch of mail and we got our magazines. Well, let's get into her. First off, shop card. I don't think this gentleman needs any introduction, does he? Mr. Tibbetts over at Papa's Model Car Room. Uh, great channel, great guy, great builds. Uh, beautiful collection he has. Love seeing everything he shares with us. Just a great, great channel. Thank you, Rob. Uh, mail call from, uh, mail order, I guess, from Model House Tires. First off, we got a nice set of Cast Daisy mags. Always a cool, cool wheel. I love anything five-spoke mag. And staying with our wheels, wheel covers. We got a set of Olds, Olds Fiesta hubcaps. These are pretty close. They'll be a good stand-in for... The Pharaoh's Merc for the American Graffiti build. If I can't find anything better. Uh, getting into tires. I guess we'll start off here. Got to focus. Set of Mickey Thompson. They're called like 70 style cheater slicks. Smooth with two lines. Here we have a nice set of, I think the rest are all white walls, but nice beefy set. Of white wall tires, some nice tread on them. And here's a set of big and littles. They are Goodyear branded. A little wider, like a passenger type tire. Maybe a street rod. And here we have another set of big and littles. These are more like a hot rod style roadsters. Real tall, narrow tread. Nice looking white walls there. And lastly is a set of 210s. As you can see, that's a good, oh wait. Those are the ones that I used on the El Camino build for the Fat Fenders Fins and Chrome. So if you guys are looking for those, there's the, the number I used on that guy. If you have not seen that build, go check out the final for the Fat Fenders Fins and Chrome. And I guess here's another mail call. I actually got this in a couple weeks ago. Uh, kind of got buried under some stuff and forgot about it. But this is a fine scale modelers contest cars. Kind of their, their big pictorial edition. I think some other guys have shown this one. But uh, if you want me to thumb through it on camera, let me know in the comments. I will happily do that for you guys. I look forward to digging into this one myself. And... On to the main attraction, if you will. It is Rod and Custom December of 65. Inside Fax Hemikuda engine detailing. Good looking build there. We've got an early Cuda. Doing a nice burnout there. Pop quiz. If you know who the driver of this rear engine Hemikuda is. Find out later in the episode. A couple more things. Well, let's get into her. And starting off with a KMB Aurora ad. 132nd scale Ford GT, Mustang GT, and a Pontiac GTO. Some real cool cars. How about some shoes to made to fit your GTO? Slot car track soles. And a accelerator heel, you know, perfect matchup for the accelerator pedal on the floor. And a few ads, Pactra ad, some uh, racing bodies, some new colors, decals, bodies by Pactra. And here we go again with a Ravel's two page ad. Showing their different layouts available. Pretty cool. Uh, we got our scooter ad. Reader's rights. The pyro ad. Cool looking uh, custom show car. A few others. Reader's rights. Here's our monogram big scale Corvette. Again, 
nice add showing off the features complete gift package for 10.98 i'll happily give you 20 bucks if anybody wants to sell one well, we got a hawk ad everybody loves a winner Christmas shopper. What was it? This was no. Oh, this is December's ad. Some cool. Uh, I would certainly take that Wii and cross ram. Put a recorder. Snap in tape cartridges. Some cool stuff. How about some moon? Moon Equipment Hemi Valve Covers. That would be cool. Will the real Hemi Cuda please stand up? I didn't realize Eminem had uh, influences back in the 60s. Very interesting. But, uh, another shot of that rear engine early Cuda. Pretty sweet. All right, who's the driver? Mr. Tom McEwen. Run his. That is a sweet car. Would love to do an early Cuda. I think they're a cool looking car. Some cool under the hood picks, if you will. So, actual under the hood. There's no engine. We have now fuel tanks and coolant tanks. Here's a look at looking up through the floor at the. Uh, chassis setup they have BM Torque Master hydraulic in and out. There's our rear engine assembly, those little springs, and how it looks in the car. Pretty cool article. Showing how it was mounted in through the trunk. Clamp type headrest. Interesting. They still have most of the interior in there, which is a little surprising. But uh, Tom Mongoose McEwen, who went on his gourd in the original Hemi Cuda, straps himself into the new one for another fast ride. Some louvers in the back window. Cool car. This one, this rear engine Kudu was built to go fast and not be a wheel stander like the Hemi Underglass. But moving on, competition Willis. Classic Willis drag car. Hooker haters. These are on sea gas. Fuel injected small block Chevy. Cool gold leafing on the helmet. And there's, I guess you can see the hooker headers as gold leaf. Been a while since I've played with gold leaf. I'll have to try that on one of these kits coming up. But uh, mouse at roar. Any of you guys into these little midgets? Some cool. Pictures for you. This little guys. A lot packed into a little one of those. Oh, we got plenty more photos here for you.
not a whole lot of protection on one of these guys, but uh, that's the way early racing was, right? Oh, somebody down their lid. Sweet scallops. And here we have the double A fuel dragster, the varmint. Varmint and crew. Classic blown hemi dragster. Pretty cool shots. And onto our Tom Daniel interior styling. A little different than the exterior that he normally does, but uh, pretty cool to see him at work no matter what it is. Check out that interior in the early sedan. style car little tea bucket real futuristic and has a TV on the passenger side Got a TV in the rear wood green Some really cool renderings drawings Three ounces of vodka, six ounces of grape shoot, grapefruit juice. Add salt to taste, and you've got a salty dog. And a hemi powered speedster. That fits right in with the AMT Aqua Rod that's coming out. Yeah, just a a mass of flames. You got three different styles of flames on the side of that thing. Some going up, some going back, some pinstripes. Pretty crazy. Looks pretty cool though. Better handling. Snappy looking door handles are a cinch. cinch. Making some uh, custom door handles. A little how-to. You want something cool, you gotta do it yourself. What makes it go? Part four by Don Garlitz. Now that is a cool cutaway illustration. That is art. Cool. This week we are checking out, looks like the valve train. Team Rockers valves. Another Hemi cutaway. All these old illustrations and cutaways. Cool. Mr. Tough, NHRA 65 world champ. That is a bad looking unit. Here's the three gentlemen. Little shot at the rear suspension, ladder bars. There's our front suspension. Again, a gas or without a straight axle. Chrome reverse. Long ladder bars, very cool. And here's how you can build yours. Just might have to do it. I think this uses most of the Badman kit or the new Bel Air street machine. 
will get you pretty darn close. And here is your parts list, if you would like to. I think I just might. Pretty simple, simple conversion. I want to do all these ones that they've put in the magazines, but uh, this one I think is pretty uh, pretty attainable with the Revell 55. Why not build a 65 World Champ? Some more actual photos of the real feel. Hard top here, are those taillights pretty cool. A little push bar and our injected small block Chevy. Looks like it's set back behind the A arms, moon tank out front, our simplified interior. Shot of everything so you know how to detail up your kit. Pretty cool. Chevy Ford, the best of both. Pretty common. Nothing wrong with a 32 Ford with a small block Chevy. Phaeton. Nice shots of the interior have a bit of gangster class look with the simple corvette small block pretty cool a small look at 66 every year at this time there's a mass assault by model car collectors everywhere on the various new car dealerships reason is, of course, to acquire as many of the 66 built-up models as a collector can beg, borrow, or buy. Taking a look at all the 66 promos and, of course, soon-to-be kits. Take a look at everything that they've got here. GMs, the Cadillacs, Corvettes, the Rivies, Ford, Galaxies, and Falcons. Little slab side, Thunderbird, Mustang, Corvairs, a big Chevy, Impala, Goats, Bonneville or Catalina, a couple of AMCs, a little AMC Marlin and an American there. The Ramblers. The Chryslers. Very cool. I bet you there's some of those on people's grill lists for sure. And back to our sh Christmas shopper catalog. What to buy. Real wire wheels. Or Lesney's little 1911 Maxwell. Pretty cool. Slot car stuff. Lola. Pretty cool. How about a lighter with a little Model T in it? Uh, that would be cool. New Le Mans racetrack. Some motors. Toolkit. Oops. How about some satin Craigers for $40 each? Not too bad. Scale model drag racing. Take a look at your, your times. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sweet little a gas Willis and that funky looking rails. Yeah, 
impossible. It didn't seem as if the magic one second mark would ever be broken, but Gene Hustling did it at J&J &J Raceways with a blistering .988 with two backup runs of 1 0 each. It turned 101 on the dual racing run, 107 on 24 volts. Mr. Top Fuel showing how he did her. Lightweight equals horsepower. drives with their big toe but uh maybe that's the trick to winning <laughs> before you paint another thing read this we are dying some model car bodies some red who needs paint when you can dye it and dye your fingers <laughs> But uh, that's just one way to do it. Engine detailing. There are many parts to finish on a model, and each one contributes to the overall appearance. One of the most important jobs is engine detailing. Yeah, pretty good work there. Giving you different tips. Paint the area. Drilling out. things different shades of aluminum gloss and flat gluing on our thread for wires some more thread for fuel lines making up the butterflies oil pressure Mixing flat aluminum and flat red to paint butterflies. Pretty good tip. And we just made Big Daddy Don Garlet's Blown Hemi engine. Very cool. And we got some more engine detailing. Looks pretty good. Nice work. I think that one's a real car. As is that one. There's a kit one. Looks like a kit one. And a real one. I'd like to find the four carb intake and the six carb intake. I need those for a couple of projects. No Mercedes Benz. Shelve it. Turn your slot car into a shelf model. Scratch building out has interior and other additions for a slot car. Pretty nice work. Johan 66 a go go customizing car kits. I bet you there's some more grills on that ad. That top left one is awesome. Ronnie Socks, Plymouth, Cadillac, Chrysler, and American. Coming next month, Olds Toronado and Marlin. Ooh, some nice ones. Strombecker ad. Ads. 
Genuine Monster T-shirts. Throw some color action movies. The Attaché Exacto's new car carrier tool case. I seen one of uh, Mr. Rinka. Mr. Rick's uh, Exacto set, and that was quite an impressive display. Inch session Autorama. Ramp's a little tricky. Yeah. Back her down a tick. Keep her out of the ceiling. Ed Roth. Think up a finky thing and win a weekend with me in California. 750 unthinkable prizes. Another contest giveaway to hang out with Mr. Fink. Which would be awesome. Okay, that's it. Got the Fink Eliminator. Outlaw with Fink. Tweety Pie with Boss Fink. Cool stuff. Here and now the sizzling 66 model kits from AMT. 66 T-Bird, 66 Galaxy, Corvette Hardtop, Buick Wildcat, Mustang Hardtop and Convertible. I think we've seen most of those. Clock, a bike, Royal Pontiac, Cougar 2-2, IMC. My little comic there. I don't think the scale of Monster will ever catch on. I think that would be hilarious to watch though. A little marionette to your car before you can take off. It'd be hilarious to see. Monogram 4 GT and Ferrari. And our comic at the end. Nail polish, paint your car. That would be a lot of work. All you gotta do is advertise on your car. Wait, there's fine print. Ah. These days it won't be that big a deal to have some nail polish on your fingers, would it? Pretty oddly common to see that. American model car raceways. Some giant professional tracks. We pay all freight charges. Very cool. That is the end. Again, thank you, Rob. And uh, again, let me know in the comments. If you guys want me to thumb through this one for you. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.